Hey there Aquarius, this is Renee <clears throat> and welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for you Aquarius and we're going to jump right in. Let's get some energy for Aquarius. We have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay, so I feel like what you're looking for most may be peace. Okay, you're trying to find that peace of mind, that peace overflowing, <laughs> you know. Uh, we also have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay, so there may be something that you need to trust in at this moment. Okay, let's get some more energy for Aquarius. This one wanted to jump out. We have acceptance. Okay, and we have recovery. Beautiful Aquarius. Okay, let's look at the tarot. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. What is going on for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The messages for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, wow, the Magician, the Moon, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, <clears throat> at the bottom we have the Ten of Swords. So Aquarius, I feel like you're kind of done with something. You're done feeling a certain way. You're done feeling with negative emotions, negative energy, and you're pushing that energy aside. You have finished with one thing and now you're moving on to another. This may be some kind of love that you may have to leave behind, okay, because you received some kind of information that this love was doing something that was trying to not be supported of, supportive of you. You're moving on from feeling this. You're trying to focus more on yourself because you're recovering. You're recovering from some kind of emotional stress. Some heart healing here. Okay, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's get into this. Okay, Aquarius, I feel like there's some kind of choices that need to be made. If you notice, she's sitting back here and she's just letting them do what they do. You know, she's not trying to stop them. She's not trying to say anything. She's made the choice to stay out of it. Okay, so I feel like there's something that you've made a choice to stay out of because you kind of had enough. You're moving in a totally different direction. Um, you've hit a turning point, Aquarius, and now you're moving into something new. You're moving into what is more important for you. You're creating some kind of new reality. Some, you're creating something different because you're tired of the same old thing. Okay, maybe people are drawing you into their comma, <clears throat> their conflict or drama. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I put those two words together, comma. Yeah, but I feel like people are drawing you into their conflict and drama. So you're kind of moving away from that energy. You're, you're not having it any longer. You are creating something different something new there's some kind of plans that you have that you're trying to bring into reality and i feel like with this will of fortune energy i feel like things are turning they're turning more in your favor okay you've hit a turning point and now you're moving into a slightly different direction okay <clears throat> excuse me okay with the moon the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I feel like you are in pursuit of something. 
there's something that you're trying to focus on because something is hidden but you're looking for the answers you're actively looking um, but something is hidden that will be revealed and it will help you to be more independent more focused more money driven okay this is the wealthy lady so i feel like you know you may be in pursuit of maybe new ways of creating income maybe new ways of changing up your job in a way that's going to be more prosperous for you and i feel like once these answers come I feel like they're, they're going to be moving with the quickness, okay? Look how this knight is moving towards the nine of pentacles. It's moving towards the independence, the wealth, okay? So very interesting. Very interesting so far, Aquarius. <clears throat> I'm also getting that, you know, there may be people around you that may be fighting or squabbling or arguing and you're just like, you're like standing back. You're not even trying to get into that because you, you're you at this recovery phase. You want peace, you know, and I feel like you, you're just done with it. You know, it may have had to do with love. Maybe you have two people who are fighting over your attention, Aquarius. But I feel like you're done with it. You're just going to let them do whatever they're doing and you're going to go about your business. Okay. Okay, let's get some clarity for these cards. Give me a message for Aquarius, please, spirits. Message for Aquarius. <clears throat> okay, we have the Ace of Cups. The Six of Cups. Wow, the Justice card. The Ace of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom, you have the world card. So there is some kind of goals that you have achieved or that you are achieving, Aquarius. You're going through this cycle. You're getting ready to go into this new cycle of new beginnings, new you know journeys, new lessons. Okay? So I feel like there's something that you're completing. And with this ace... Of swords and ace of cups this is a new beginning so we have the ending and the beginning a couple times because remember we had the ten of swords as well so you were done with something you were ready for it to end you were ready for it to stop so it's just logical that we would have the world because you are really done with whatever that was and you're moving on to a new challenge because you learned that lesson whatever that was okay you you didn't want to deal with that, that situation again so it's pushing you to a new beginning aquarius whatever choices you had to make i feel like you did that for yourself you did that for your love for your journey for your greatest good okay and i feel like you know with this will of fortune and the six of cups you're focusing more on the things that make you happy. You know, you're no longer focused on the things that are all around you. Because not of all that are making you happy. Not all of that brings you peace. But you're just focusing that energy on those important things. That's your friends, your family, your loved ones, maybe even your children or your parents or your spouse. Okay, but I feel like you're focused on your internal space, on your immediate surroundings. You're no longer focused on the outside. Okay, we have the, the Magician and the Justice card. So whatever it is that you're creating, I feel like 
you're on the right path. You're definitely doing the right thing. The magician is creating something and bringing that energy down to earth, you know, manifesting things into reality. The justice card is all about cause and effect. So the things that you do are the outcome you're going to receive. So this is manifestation. This is karma. So I think something very special is coming around for you, Aquarius, because um, the plants, the seed, wait a minute, the seeds that you plant today are going to flourish tomorrow, okay? So that's cause and effect. So whatever you're planting today is going to blossom for you tomorrow, either blossom or wither. You know, depending on how you put your energy out there. So I think that with this Magician card and the Justice card, you're creating something that's going to be very viable for you. You're creating not just balance and, you know, abundance. You're also creating the... Um, acceptance and peace of mind that you're looking for okay this is manifestation this is your karma so I feel like you're looking for that good karma to come back around you and that's exactly what's happening whatever it is that's manifesting it's manifesting because the seeds that you planted are now being flourished and are, are now bringing you this abundance, this acceptance, this peace, this feeling of being balanced because you're doing it in the right way, okay? There's some kind of balance happening for you. Okay, with this moon card, <clears throat> something that needs to re be revealed that is hidden, you're going to get the answer to that. Those answers are going to be provided to you. These are new ideas. This is new um, vision. New hope. You know? So whatever is hidden, whatever. Now this is it. You know, whatever is done in the dark will come to light. Have you ever heard someone say that? It's very true. You know, nothing can stay a secret forever. Whatever is done in the dark will become, will be the light will shine on it. There you go. I can't even talk today, so please forgive me. But something is becoming clear. You're getting clarity on whatever this is that's hidden. And I feel like it's helping you out here, Aquarius. Because, see, I feel like you're actively working on creating this Nine of Pentacles. We're going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So you're actively working on something that's going to bring you more independence, that's going to bring you more abundance, that, you know, you may be working on your coin, you may be in pursuit of a career or idea that's going to flourish. So I feel like you're actively working on that, okay? There are seeds that you planted. Look at this. We have the seven, eight, and nine of pentacles. So you are progressing. You know, you're moving up the ladder. You're moving up that chain. You know, there are seeds that you planted that once they start growing, it's going to be like a burst of energy. Okay? They're going to start, this idea, whatever this is that you planted, is going to flourish and blossom and spark some kind of energy within you that's going to bring you a lot of victory, a lot of success. It's going to start moving very fast, you know, once you get the ball rolling. So I feel like if this is something that you haven't started yet, this is the time to start now. Okay? So, let's get an outcome for Aquarius. Get an outcome for Aquarius, please. What else do we need to stay to Aquarius? Yeah, the strength. I love this. 
the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. At the bottom we have the Four of Wands. So, Aquarius, here's the thing. You have the strength to push through your fears and be assertive, take action, be confident, be assured that things are going to work out. You know, she doesn't care what people think about her. She's confident in herself. She's fully accepted who she is, what she is, where she is in her life. And she loves the person she is, regardless of her circumstances. Okay? She has this spark, this fire, this attraction. Because she has the confidence to back up however she feels. She doesn't let fear or doubt hold her down. You know, she has the strength and the fire and the fearlessness to push through any circumstances okay she's just going for her success she's not letting these things hold her down okay so i feel like that's what spirit is letting you know that's what spirit wants you to know is that you have this ability you just need to use it to be guided into your success okay because i feel like you know that's where this is leading this is leading to some successful moments that are going to push you in the right direction. You're going to have the need for celebration. Okay? There is going to be a need to celebrate, to feel <clears throat> totally ignited. Okay, let's get an angel card. For Aquarius, an angel card please for an Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Okay, we have Moonlighting. You can start working on your dream, career, part-time, while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So there may be something that you're kind of doing on the side that you're trying to create and bring into this reality. You know, you're trying to get it to take off and to provide you a, a livable income. Um, but Spirit is letting you know, okay, start small. Start small. You can work up to the um, to the pace where you need to but the thing of the matter is just to start whatever this is that you want to do you need to start okay this is the best time to start whatever it is that you decide to pursue okay Aquarius okay I feel like you needed to know that Okay, let's get some Moonology Manifestation cards. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay. We have Let Your Fears Dissolve. Full Moon in Cancer. Okay. And we have Clear Your Mind. Last Quarter Moon in Gemini. So there may be some things that you need to do to feel more focused. Definitely. Spirit is trying to give you balance, good advice. You know, full moon in Libra, find a balance. You know, you may have to prioritize so that you have times to get so that you have time to get things done that you want to get done. You know? Um so I feel like that's very important. Okay, lastly, we are going to pull you an angel number what the universe wants you to know for right now. What do we have for Aquarius, please? We have 1616 willpower. Things may feel out of sync and not within your control. The whisper of the divine is asking that you remember that you are being supported. 
and that you will that your will is your superpower determination is key right now so being determined you have the power Aquarius your affirmation I call on my strength and willpower to take the lead I accept and listen to the support of the divine within me okay all right so Aquarius this is your reading if you made it this far in the comment section it, you know claim that number that willpower claim 1616 okay write that in the comment section and Aquarius if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity uh, there may be more messages that may resonate even more with you in that playlist for March and until your next reading Aquarius many blessings to you love and light